Here's another expression where you're asked to, um, another problem where you're asked to simplify an expression that involves negative exponents. This one's a bit more complex. Um, so there are different ways to deal with this. One way would be to take a, a similar approach that I've shown in previous examples, which is to uh, rewrite this expression um, without the negative exponents. So move this uh, x plus 5 to the negative 1 half, rewrite it as x plus 5 to the 1 half in the denominator. Another way to look at this would be to uh, look for common factors. And I'm going to take that approach with this problem. So in the numerator, you've got this common factor of x plus 5. So I'm going to factor that out of the numerator. So let me just write x plus 5. Okay, and when you pull out a common factor, you should always factor out the lowest exponent, even when it's negative. So even going you know, as far to the left on the number line as you can, so the most negative, if there are negative exponents. And so the lowest exponent in this case is that negative 1 half power. So I'm going to factor out that power. Okay, and I'm just going to write the x plus 5 on the bottom. We'll leave that alone for now. Uh, okay, so figuring out what's left in the numerator here, we should subtract. So first of all, the x plus 5 we had originally to the positive 1 half power. So to figure out the remaining exponent, we should subtract this negative 1 half power that we had. Which, let me write, so take the um, exponent that you had initially, and I'm sorry I'm cramped in here a little bit. So we started with that 1 half power and subtract the power that was factored out. So in this case we're going to subtract negative one-half. And so this is going to amount to one-half plus one-half, which is one. So on the next step, and I'm moving a little ahead here though, x plus five to the negative one-half we're going to have just x plus 5 to the first. So we'll just write x plus 5 for that first part of the expression. Now, for the second part, let's see, minus 7x. So that's just going to stay. And then x plus 5 uh, to the negative 1 half, that's exactly what was factored out here. So um, we already have the 7x as a placeholder for the second part of the expression. So we're ready to just close the bracket on that. And so down here, I can just write minus 7x in the bracket. Um, now, just to re review that step real quick. So always factor out the negative, uh, the lowest exponent, which in this case is negative 1 half. To figure out the remaining exponent, if it doesn't match exactly, like you read positive 1 half, you should subtract to find the remaining exponent, which in this case was 1, so just x plus 5 to the first. On the second part of the expression, we factored out exactly what we see here. So all that's left is the minus 7x. So that's all that's left here. Uh, and there's really just a couple of, of small things to do to finish this problem up at this point. So inside the brackets here, we could combine like terms. So x and then minus 7x gives us negative 6x. And it, things always look nicer if you write the positive term first and the negative term second. So I'm going to write that as just positive 5, what we have here. And then the x minus 7x gives us the minus 6x here. Now, uh, the negative exponent here, we should move that to the denominator. So when I move this down, I'll have x plus 5 to the positive 1 half down here and it's times that x plus 5 that we had initially, which that's implied, that's x plus 5 to the first. So to get the overall exponent in the denominator, we should add the exponent. So we have a power of x plus 5. And to find that power, we should take the 1 half plus 1, which if you want some help with the arithmetic there, rewrite the 1 as 2 over 2, right? That's the same thing as 1. And now that you have a common denominator, you can just rewrite it. Okay, the denominator is 2 and the numerator is 1 plus 2, so 3 halves. So we have x plus 5 to the 3 halves in the denominator and just that 5 minus 6x in the numerator. And this is the simplified version of the expression that we were given.